Hi everyone, you on Cryptomania channel and in this video I will tell you about another yield optimizer in Binance Smart Chain Network, A Cryptos. In fact, this is forked Earn Finance, SushiSwap, Uniswap and Curve. A Cryptos has two products, one A Cryptos Vault and another one Stable Swap. First, let's talk about farms. A Cryptos uses automatic profit refinancing strategies, which results in such high rates of return, as well as other yield optimizers such as Autoform and Biffy Finance. Video about Autoform I did earlier and link can be found in the description of this video. Only unlike Biffy and Autoform, A Cryptos is for long term farming. Ok, let's start. First thing what we should do is connect our wallet. I already did it. I am using MetaMask uh, on Binance Smart Chain mainnet. If you don't know how to set MetaMask in Binance Smart Chain, you can find this information in video on the channel and the link uh, will be in the description of this video. When farming in a cryptos, you are credited with the primary tokens that you deposited and the native token of the project ACS token. For example, let's choose USDT token, click here. Here we have a full breakdown by interest. First, how much interest we get in the token that we deposited, that is 23.7. And note, that there is an APY percentage and there is an APR percentage here. The difference between them is that APY takes into account reinvestment and APR does not take. And just below we can see how much we get APY and APR in the ACS token. That is, by investing money in this vault, we will receive USDT tokens with these percentages and we will also receive ACS tokens with such percentages from 11.2 to 28. And these percentages add up and you can see the total percentage here. By the way, the percentage of APY for the ACS token can change and it depends on your boost, which depends on how many ACS you have in vault. In order to understand how this percentage is determined, we will go to the site with documentation on a cryptos. Here we have a formula for determining the coefficient of this increase. 1.5 multiply percentage of the share of ACS token in vault multiply by TVL in this vault. The maximum increasing coefficient, which is called boost, reaches 2.5 times. Let's go back to a cryptos. Let's choose some pool, for example, DAI. Here it shows how much DAI I have in my wallet. Let's move on to the mechanics of actions. To add this DAI to this pool, we need to click deposit, select the amount, in my case it maximum, and click deposit. Now we need to give the transaction permission for the contract to interact with our wallet. Click confirm, wait a little bit. Now the transaction itself comes out, click confirm. Ok, done. And now we see that our 20 DAI is not in the wallet, but in the vault. Now in order for our 20 DAI to start bringing us income in ACS tokens, we need to click stake. Also choose maximum and stake. Again permission, confirmed and transaction, confirm. Ok, done. And now we see pending amount of ACS tokens. Now let's click on the boost button. Here now the coefficient is 1. Also here there is a coefficient boost in the future. Future boost. Uh, if we perform any operation such as stake, unstake, then it will recalculate our ACS 
and the coefficient itself. But since I don't have anything yet, then here we have 1. Also, if you have a higher future boost coefficient, you can click the force button and then it will trigger a transaction and if you confirm it, it will recalculate your coefficient. But I can't do it now because I have a coefficient of 1. For 2.5x shows how much we need ACS. In this case, it's 13.36 ACS we must have in the storage to achieve an increase of 2.5 times. And 2.5x on first, this means the amount in DAI that we need to provide to get the maximum coefficient. In my case, it's zero. To return everything, we need to click unstake, maximum, unstake, confirm transaction, wait a little bit. Please note that now we have uh, ACS uh, tokens, ACS die, ACS die tokens in our wallet, which are issued to us in exchange for those that we put here in vault. Next click withdraw button, maximum, withdraw, confirm transaction. After that, your initial DAI and ECS token will appear in your wallet here. Here DAI and I don't have ACS. This did not happen for me because there is a commission here that is charged in the ACS token in pending and I don't have enough of these tokens now. And then we can invest this profit in ACS core vault here where the APY is 213% now. The same is true with other worlds. Only if we take LP tokens, then we have a swap APY. This is percentage that you earn from commissions by providing liquidity in the pool. For example, if we click here, we will see swap APY. Now let's see what commissions we have. According to ACS Vault, the commissions for withdrawal is 10%. It's distributed among the ACS holders and remains in the world. Therefore, a cryptos is intended for long-term investments. Although the ACS has high interest rates, the withdrawal fee is also quite big. For all other worlds, the withdrawal fee is 0.5%, which is used to purchase ACS tokens and distribute them to ACS holders through ACS Vault. Next, performance fee, 5% of gains harvested, up to 0.5% to strategy creator. Reminder used to buy ACS and distribute it to ACS holders via ACS Vault. Also for our vaults, here is a harvester fee, 0.3% of gains harvested. Also for the farming of the token, there is a harvest fee which is 0.03 ACS. This commission is also distributed among the token holders. Now let's move on to the second product of a cryptos stable swap. This is analog of curve only on Binance Smart Chain AMM where you can exchange stable coins and BTCB and RAN BTC. Here everything is simple, we choose what we want to exchange for, for example BUSD, we want to exchange for USDT and all we need to do is to set slippage and click swap. I will not go into details here right now, the exchange fee will be about 0.01% for the main ACS4 USD pool and 0.06% for the rest which is much cheaper than on Uniswap. And 50% of these commissions go to the purchase of ACSI tokens and their distribution, which is another native token related to stable swap. These are two tokens and they are different. The remaining 50% goes to liquidity providers. Now I will show you how to add liquidity and get these LP tokens on stable swap. Click deposit, 
select the token for example i will choose dai click deposit confirm transaction after that we can find our acs4 tokens in our wallet it will be here next go to vault choose stable swap and now choose our pool acs4 usd here we see AP, a swap apy and acsi apy click stake maximum stake confirm transaction after that we have aci tokens in pending which are credited to us according to our contribution and after we have a sufficient amount we, we will be able to withdraw it and then we can invest it in acsi pool at let's check it at 262 uh, percent apy please note that the interest here also consists of swap apy here for providing liquidity to the pool and acsi apy which we earn in acsi tokens which we can then invest in the pool at uh, 262 percent apy now let's look at stable swap commissions acsi vault withdrawal fee is 10 percent there is also a harvest fee of 0.06 acsi which is why i could not withdraw and it's also distributed among the holders of this token via acsi vault and about stable swap exchange fee i already said it's 0.01 for base pool this one and 0.06 percent uh, for others uh, both tokens are government tokens the voting weight is determined in acs taking into account the prevailing exchange rate between them the minimum number of ACS tokens to create a new proposal is 88 tokens. The project also has a treasury for financing everything that increases the value of the project. Up to 3% of the issue of ACS tokens goes there. And let's go to the security and risk step. Here you can find information about audits. The last audit was conducted by Hacken on March 31, 2021, and the security and risks page updates the information about the audits. Before investing in Ecryptos, you should do a research in details so you can have a complete understanding of the issue of native tokens, the percentage of distribution to holders and the team, the conditions for reducing issues, and so on. That's all for now. Put likes and subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of useful information ahead. Bye.